It is clear we're in a news phase of this mm -hmm. coronavirus mm -hmm. crisis. The president made that very clear last night, calling it a critical time. Because worldwide, the number of cases tops more than 120,000. And the World Health Organization officially declared this outbreak a pandemic, which is defined as the global spread of a new disease. And the group said it's using this wording because of the alarming level of spread and severity and the alarming level of inaction. That's right. And here's what we know right now about the situation here in the United States. There are more than 1,300 cases across the country in 44 states and Washington, D.C. That's going to grow. The death toll is now reaching at least 37, and at least 19 states have declared a state of emergency. Hospitals are racing to prepare for the situation to escalate, setting up tents outside for treatment. Airports taking action after a JetBlue passenger landing in Florida tested positive for coronavirus overnight, and the NBA suspended all games. And there are real concerns this morning about the economy. The Dow plunging after 11 years of climbing. Overnight, as we said, president announcing those new travel restrictions, proposing relief to help boost the economy while raising several new questions. We're going to get to all that with Vice President Pence coming up. We do have full team coverage of this growing global crisis starting at the White House with Cecilia Vega. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. After initially minimizing the impacts of the coronavirus, President Trump is now calling this a horrible disease, saying that Americans need to take every precaution to stay safe. In an Oval Office address to the nation, President Trump promising what he called tough but necessary action to combat the coronavirus, taking the extraordinary step of limiting travel between the United States and Europe for the next 30 days. Smart action today will prevent the spread of the virus tomorrow. The new restrictions bar most foreign nationals coming from Europe from entering the United States beginning tomorrow at midnight. And while the United Kingdom is exempt, the president blamed European allies for not doing more. The European Union failed to take the same precautions and restrict travel from China and other hotspots. As a result, a large number of new clusters in the United States were seeded by travelers from Europe. President Trump originally signaling the measure would also impact trade. And these prohibitions will not only apply to the tremendous amount of trade and cargo, but various other things as we get approval. The White House later clarifying in a statement that trade actually is not included in the new rules. President Trump setting the tone of his 10-minute address from the very beginning, saying the outbreak began overseas in China, and he called it a foreign virus. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. I am confident that by counting and continuing to take these tough measures, we will significantly reduce the threat to our citizens, and we will ultimately and expeditiously defeat this virus. Calling this a critical time, the president now urging Americans to follow the advice of health officials he has previously contradicted, and asking nursing homes to suspend all medically unnecessary visits. The elderly population must be very, very careful. The president promising financial relief for American workers, including deferring tax payments for people and businesses impacted by the virus. He also called on Congress to pass a payroll tax cut, a proposal already rejected by many Democrats and Republicans. One thing is clear, no longer is President Trump saying this is a virus that will just go away on its own. If we are vigilant and we can reduce the chance of infection, which we will, we will significantly impede the transmission of the virus. The, the virus will not have a chance against us. Well, and it seems this morning our European allies are not happy. The EU slamming this as a unilateral decision, calling saying it was taken without consultation. So here's how this will work. It applies to most European countries, not all. Americans coming back from Europe are likely to face additional screenings, including uh, their families if they're traveling with them. And a big shift this morning, George, from the White House. They are announcing that President Trump is scaling back his own travel. They are canceling events in Nevada and Colorado. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.